Gemini, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late June 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Gemini Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going. My guides, talk to me. What do we got for the lovely Geminis in late June, please? What energies, messages, insights, all that good stuff we have to my friends. And I do believe we are currently either right on the border or are moving into cancer season. So I just wish you all had a happy birthday. I know we're moving out of Gemini season. But yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. Well, let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Gemini. Please get this first card going. Oh my gosh. What's happening with my friends? What's going on with these Geminis? There we go. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. Um, this is definitely a lay low type of energy. So whether that's yours or somebody else's, there's also a beautiful aesthetic to it. And I'll give you all the detail on why I feel those things. But to me, it's kind of like someone staying in their own lane, which could be nice. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card. So if you look at the imagery of it, we see this lovely lady. She's in the pond, surrounded by all these swans and birds. And it kind of seems like she's blending in. And that's why I always say to me, this is someone kind of like blending in, laying low. For some of you, you might be in hermit mode a little bit, just minding your own business, doing your own stuff, staying focused and being in your own lane, which can be good. For a portion of you, if you've been having difficulties with a person, this could be somebody that doesn't want to cause waves. They don't want any more static um, if you're upset with them, they don't want to upset you any further. Like that's kind of the vibe. It's like low pressure. I'm just going to do my own thing type of energy, which can be really good. Now, I also link this to aesthetics in one way or another as well, because this is a beautiful card. So for some Geminis in this time, you might be changing something about your look, something about your aesthetic, how you present yourself to the world. And this is a beautiful card. So there's really good energy around that. But we're just going to put it down for now. And yeah, let's get into tarot. I always say the first card here doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for the lovely Geminis. What's happening? What do we got? And while we do, let's talk about last week's reading, my friends. And it seems to be the name of the game for like the past several weeks that a lot of Geminis are going through a lot of like pretty big changes. And that showed up specifically again last week. Big changes incoming was the name of it. So whether it's like changes in regards to work and business or changes in feelings or relationships, like a lot of things seem to be in motion. Okay, which makes sense, like around birthday season, right? You're about to start a new chapter. But let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, because it could be seeing your vibe or somebody else's. All right, let's get it going. Three cards here for the lovely Geminis, please. What's happening? Quick, very quick. Oh, okay. So we're starting with the Seven of Swords. I mean, I don't, I don't want to speculate on it too much, but that card could be a little rough depending but we'll see what surrounds it of course you know how it goes let's get a couple more let's get a couple more here what do we got okay page of wands very popular character in this week's readings that's for sure i mean i've been seeing this page of wands everywhere absolutely everywhere let's get one more out here then we'll really start piecing this together what's going on for the gemini's please thank you five of cups okay Oh, you might you might hurt someone's feelings. I'm not saying that all be mean or anything like that, but just know if you have a sharp tongue, like you really might uh, get someone in their feelings here. But that's not the only message, of course. Let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first, at first glance, we have a little bit of a mixed bag here this week. I'm just going to be straightforward, honest with you. Elementally, we have some air, we have some fire, we have some water. So these could be different situations, different aspects of the same thing. But yeah, the cards that are flanking this page of wands, they do skew a little bit towards challenging sometimes. So we're going to have to see how it goes, like especially with all this communication here in the front end with the fire air it could be volatile. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. 
position number one, we have the Seven of Swords. Now, if you read Tarot, you know why I was a little like, oh, when this popped out. Now, I always say every card has positive and challenges, and this one does lean more towards problems, issues, challenges, specifically trust issues. There might be someone you're a little skeptical of, someone that you might have your eye on, right? Someone might have their eye on you as well. Um, the Seven of Swords could be somebody doing things in the shadows. It's not super trustworthy. Um, it could be like snakes and thieves and stuff like that. So be extra vigilant in this time whenever the Seven of Swords shows up. Now, if we're talking about the more positive aspects of it. It could just represent the unknown, right? Things that we don't see, things that we don't know, things that are just outside of our view. So it makes sense. I mean, when we link it with the Page of Wands, it could be related to action or even communication. But there could just be something that you just don't, you haven't quite picked up on it yet for whatever reason. So we'll look into it further. It doesn't always have to be a warning, but I will say when we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups in reading, like there could be a couple warnings that we'll need to heed as we go through this. Now, moving to the center, and we're going to keep it very simple and straightforward for now. We have the Page of Wands. For a portion of you, it might be connected to a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Doesn't always have to be, though. Now, when pages show up, they're generally a very good positive thing. They represent students. They represent messengers or messages. So this could be communication of some sort. It is very fiery, okay? Um, it could represent our vitality as well. It could represent taking actions and making moves. Very good for new things and new chapters whenever we have the page of wands specifically. But when we talk about the challenge of this card, aside from the communication, new things coming in, this could be somebody that might be having issues with their own internal energy, their physical vitality. Make sure you're not wasting energy on certain things. That could be a big message here for a lot of you. Um, don't burn the candle at both ends. Pace yourself take care of your health. That could be a very important thing with this page because it tends to burn itself out. But another thing I'm seeing here with like the seven of swords, the air, and we have the fire. There's a bit of volatility here. So whether it's a talk that comes out of nowhere or just, we're going to have to see when we clarify for sure. And again, with this page of wands, it could just be someone making a move, taking an action okay, that you don't quite see coming. Maybe you might act in a way that you don't normally do. That's very possible in this time when we have these cards around. Um, moving to the back end, while I try to get these guys back into their original positions, we have the Five of Cups River of Tears. So we see our friend here on this card dressed all in black. They're goth, they're emo, they're in their feelers. So when I see, it's not the best type of energy to really deal with. So it doesn't mean it has to be yours. You might just be fine and dandy. There could be someone you're connected to that's going through something here when this card's in the mix. Now, I will say the Five of Cups is not like the Ten of Swords. Right? It doesn't have to be like a full-blown ending, an end-of-it-all type of energy, because it's halfway through the suit. Notice that there's still cups standing. There's still things in the background. This is only part way through something. So, And I, I'll, I also say about this Five of Cups that it can represent a spectrum of feelings. It doesn't always have to be extreme, right? We don't always have to go that route. It doesn't always mean heartbreak. It could be someone that's just a little gloomy, right? There might be a couple of days this week where you're just not quite feeling yourself or you're just a little down, okay? It's all fine, right? It's natural, but it could also be something a little painful. That's why when I'm seeing the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups in the same spread, we might have a, a warning or two here, and that's fine. These energies are natural. So I want to dive deeper on all of it. Let's jump in and clarify. Let's get a good shuffle here. What do we have for my Gemini friends, please? Guides and Spirit team. What's going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on at Seven of Swords? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Gemini, you can drop it right down in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, Seven of Swords time. What's happening here? What's the Seven of Swords here for Gemini? Thank you. Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. A lot of you might figure something out or something could absolutely come to light when we have the Sword of Truth. These two cards are complete opposite ends of a spectrum, okay? And it could also be around communication. So we have layers of messages here for a lot of you. Now, when I see the Ace of Swords, its nickname is the Sword of Truth. So remember all the stuff I've been saying about the Seven of Swords. These are like opposed type of energies, completely separate. 
So when I see the Sword of Truth under the Seven of Swords, there could be something that comes to light. There could be something you figure out, right? So if there is a situation where it's a little cloudy or you feel like there's, if your intuition's telling you there's something you don't quite know about, you could either like connect the dots, like you could have a revelation or a realization in this time for sure. But another thing, it could be a talk, right? It could be someone that pops out of nowhere because aces, they represent offers, opportunities, and communication. So notice surrounding the Seven of Swords, this mysterious type of energy is two very powerful cards of communicating. So whether this is a person that reaches out to you that you haven't heard from in quite a while, like an unexpected talk, or even if it's a topic you weren't expecting to really discuss with somebody, it's like, okay. And I've been seeing this around fire signs as well this week for some reason. Like, I think a lot of people are going to have some intriguing conversations, that's for sure. But I will say with the Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, like you're either going to figure something out or something's going to come to light as well. That could be a big thing. Okay, so very simple, straightforward. Let's keep moving. We'll see. I, I really want to get to that Five of Cups to see if we have a warning to be had. But let's go in on that page. Let's get a little more detail. So why is that page of wands here? Could just be a yeah, surprising talk for sure. But why is the page in the mix? Is that page of wands here? Thank you. Wow. And I feel like this showed up in the Sagittarius one as well. The same exact thing, the page of wands with the ten of wands in reverse. Okay. All right, there might be someone you're connected to. They feel like they've made a mistake or they feel like they've messed up. Um, and I would also say beware in this time of acting a little too sporadic and doing something that you might regret. Okay, that's just the intuitive energy that's coming through here to me. Now, the Ten of Wands is also about physical vitality. I want to make sure I give this message to you because I gave it to Saggy as well. When these two cards show up, um, either it's something or somebody that needs to get something off their chest. Or it's really spirit warning you about your physical vitality. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. Prioritize your health, your mental, emotional. But most importantly, there's a big connection to physical health, the body. Okay, so for a lot of you there, you might want to go get a checkup of some kind. I know that's an odd message you probably weren't expecting to hear. But I'm going to give the ones that I feel. And I feel like that's very valid. Uh, but again, Aside from that, when I see the page of wands, ten of wands in reverse, it's either someone that feels like they owe an apology or someone that feels like they've made a mistake or messed up. Let's keep moving forward. Let's keep moving forward. Maybe that's partially what all this is about. Maybe it's getting an apology you weren't expecting to get, okay, for some of you. Or, yeah, let, let's keep going. I think you get where I'm headed with this. So why is the Five of Cups in the mix? Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow. So why is the Five here? The five of Cups here. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Turning a negative into a positive for a lot of you. And I do feel like with various situations you might be going through right now, I think if you are, if you change your perspective on it, if you try to look at it from the outside looking in or if you try looking at it from a different vantage point, you might find that you're probably lucky in a situation or you came out better I'm better than most. Like that's kind of a vibe. It's like, all right, well, this isn't ideal, but I came out better than most would. Like that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Another thing I will say here, Gemini, the fact that we have two aces here is beautiful. Half of this card represents new. So I feel for a lot of you, you're moving into a really nice cycle. I've been feeling that for a couple of weeks for you and I still do. Um, watch out for offers and opportunities as well because when I have the Five of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, all right, you're feeling down, you might be feeling down, and then like out of nowhere, you get some sort of offer that like kind of lifts your spirit. So I do feel for a lot of you, especially if you're in this mode, um, something could come in and really lift your spirits in this time, whether it is in the form of communication or whether it's an offer of some kind. I like what I'm feeling. But again, the big message I'm picking up on the back end is try to look at a certain situation with a different perspective. And you're going to see the silver lining and you're going to see that, you know what? It could have been a lot worse, okay? And listen, I don't know whatever Gemini's going through, but that's how the message is flowing. So let's go through and do a quick recap here. Um, 
in a sense, this reading is layered, but it's also simple. But let's go through piece by piece before the shadow. Position number one, we have the Seven of Swords with the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth. So the two opposing energies right here in the front. I did say for a lot of Geminis, you might connect the dots with something. You might figure something out. A piece of information might be revealed to you. So there might be a revelation or a realization. Another portion of you, this could be a talk that you were not expecting whatsoever, or a piece of information you were not expecting, and which is very difficult because because I know Geminis are extremely intelligent individuals, right? Like you're very analytical. So it's kind of hard to catch you off guard, but just keep your head on a swivel in this time. Um, and yeah, again, it could just be hearing from someone you didn't think you'd hear from. Moving to the center, we have the Page of Wands with the Ten of Wands in reverse. I did give you that little um, message about some of you might need a little checkup or just pay attention to your physical health in particular. Don't burn yourself out. But another vibe I was getting is someone either feels like they messed up or made a mistake. And that might be connected to this communication for sure. It's like uh, someone feels like they messed up big time. So something to be aware of. Moving to the back end, we have the Five of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Um, seeing the positive in a negative or at least seeing the silver lining of a situation when you see it or look at it from a different vantage point, put yourself in someone else's shoes or outside looking in perspective is really nice. I also feel for a lot of you, there's a lot of great new energy coming in and something could happen this week that really lifts your spirits, that brings you up a couple of levels, which is really good. So please take a screenshot of that. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. Lots of communicating and talking as well, possible offers. So, I mean, mixed bag, right? It was a mixed bag type of reading, but let's see what's in the shadows for you. Shuffle it up one time. What do we got for Gemini, please? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a bad thing. They could be really good. So let's get one here. Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. All right, shadow card time. What do we got? is in the shadows thank you okay temperance being patient some of you like i mean that could be frustrating to hear depending on what you're going through but this could also be an extremely protective card especially in the shadows so temperance is classically uh depicted with the archangel michael the defender the protector so when i see this in the shadows it's like all right you are being insulated protected watched over which is a really nice energy to have even if even if you don't see it or feel it this could be really good you might be linked to a Sagi for a portion of you when Temperance is here because this is their card. But in the big scheme of things, when we see Temperance, it is a big card of patience. We're being patient or letting a process evolve the way it needs to. So just know some of you might just be going through a certain process and it just needs to go through its regular steps. Even if it's something you can't rush along, it's like, all right, something needs to play out when I see Temperance in the shadows. Okay, whether it's frustrating or not, but it doesn't feel bad. There's a lot of protection here. There's a lot of spiritual energy, spiritual support and energetic support here for you. So I really like that. And yeah, Gemini, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my digital calendar is open on mastermetaphysics.com. So go ahead and check that out. And if you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this weekend's readings. But for the June subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things, as always, my my friends first you must be subscribed and second let me know down in the comments if you could snap your fingers and visit anywhere in the world right now where would it be you'll be entered to win and at the end of the month the winners will be announced in my community tab as always my friends much love and i'll see you soon